Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Milton. I'm Tristan. And this is ATV. We're gonna be watching another Death Paddle wow. that came out. Yeah. And what is it, Andre? It's Batman vs. Black Panther. Because literally, Batman. this is the third Batman and fourth, if you consider Batman Beyond, of him being in a death battle with someone. Because the first one was Spider Man, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Second one was Captain America. And then, and then Batman, Batman Beyond. Beyond it's Spider Man again. Oh, uh, well, the new Spider Man, uh, the future Spider Man. And then now he's going with Black Panther. Because it's always because Batman is like the. I guess it's because Batman is the pinnacle of humanity. Like, humanity like, skill. Yeah. yeah, like in the. In DC, but. Because, like, he's like the only one with all powers. Like yeah, he's like the only one that doesn't have powers. But that's he's like really, the best. He's something. really skilled. Why yeah, didn't they do Wildcat? He did Black Panther. At least Wildcat's not that great, though. But... Yeah. But... But Wildcat again? Well, it's, even Batman praises his fighting ability, though, so it's kind of... But... Yeah. How about, a uh, Cheetah versus... Not Cheetah... Um, what? I don't remember. But, like, Black Panther, like... It's obviously because it's the fact that they're both rich, only use suits, mm -hmm. and, like... Mm -hmm. And things like that, but... The, the cool suits. The thing is that, uh... Vixen, well, Vixen is an a different animal, also. Yeah, but he's in steroids. <laughs> on steroids. <laughs> like, steroids on humans. So. But, yeah. So, another Batman one. Uh, we're going to talk a bit about after, like, who we're going to think we will win because of the. There's a few things thing I would like to say before that we even do it. That, like, which is a whole thing of. I think I do want uh, Batman to win. Batman's one of my favorite superheroes, but there's a there's a slight problem where I think Black he's not going to be Black Panther, which is the suit. But I'll talk about that if they bring that kind of stuff up, which I'm sure they're going to. Yeah, so we'll talk about it more after. So for now, let's just get into it and see what they come up for battle with. Let's go. Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike an awe, but yeah, mostly fear. And these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He is weighs an iron boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Before he was the Black Panther, before he was a king, T'Challa was born the Prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Where the Wakanda what? is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. I forgot also, this but is a perfect for the movie. T'Challa was week. anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. After <laughs> earning numerous degrees from Harvard, Oxford, Berkeley, Man, and MIT, T'Challa yeah, came he's the home. Eight smartest His father, Wakanda's champion. king and then current Black Panther, had been assassinated, and a new ruler needed to be named. But to claim the throne, he'd have to claw his way through the rite of passage. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But hey, T'Challa wasn't just a nerdy brainiac. He could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and that link bestowed him numerous superhuman abilities. Uh, well, Who knew getting high could turn you into a superhero? <laughs> T'Challa's new powers <laughs> it's a drug. superhuman speed, strength, healing, and agility. His senses also dramatically increased in acuity. Not only can he see in the dark, but his superior vision can even make out infrared and ultraviolet light. So, like, the powers of a cat? Yes and no. While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, he can always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. 
Oh, like how we can walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. <laughs> no, no. So Black Panther's super sense lets him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets. And Wakanda houses one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right, 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. And they hoarded it all to themselves. And I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars. And Wakanda's Jeez. vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over 9 billion dollars. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. They were exploring outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther hat is thing. rooted in a so vibranium microwave right mesh. Mm -hmm. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. For example, bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed into the suit. Even the shells from a helicopter mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called anti-metal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What can this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. If it takes in too much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Oh god! Ah, uh, but don't I worry, he's fine, again. somehow! Under T'Challa's leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. He can even throw spears through stone walls! Typically for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per that? square inch. Yeah, and the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw off. He can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Whoa, hold on! Did he just take out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got the tech, the skills, and the country to prove it. Claw, do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. Throughout the underworld of Gotham City, one name <laughs> strikes fear into the hearts of yep. even the most hardened of criminals. The goddamn Batmans! You know who he is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his intentions. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How noble, and ironic considering he was taught to be a badass by a group called the League of Assassins. Well, he dresses like a bat, sleeps with a cat burglar, and constantly <laughs> brings children into battle. So he's clearly got a few complicated issues. But let's see what he can really do. 
Vance is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't have any superpowers at all. <laughs> Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? <laughs> yeah. Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedown, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control Sheesh. at the age of 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and Boxing. It's not every so day you can find rounder. someone who can literally take you down in 127 different ways. He's also touted as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. <laughs> and all that's before like his that. handy dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. A lot of which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all too. According to Forbes, Wayne's net worth thanks to his company adds up to 9.2 billion US dollars. Billionaire. With that much That's cash, he, so he can much. afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite grenades, and of course, the Batarangs. Originally designed as a boomerang weapon, Wayne eventually molded his Batarangs into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with electric shocks, flash bulbs, and explosives. And last but not least, don't forget his bat suit. It can resist fire, electricity, and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand so damn pounds. strong, man. I thought this guy didn't have any superpowers. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. This idea generally applies to him in pretty much every area. Yeah. Physically yeah, and mentally, he's strong enough to break through walls, rip people, apart car parts, and, and put him into prison one bars. Spotlight. He's quick enough to avoid gunfire <laughs> and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Brucey ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same That's true. Really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. I don't think Whenever he can the run a spot. Justice League gets in a yeah. fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are my Kill. favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Yeah. Even after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot spirit. to take down the Batman. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was something is like if he all ever got right, his hands on the like, green set. lantern. Let's end yeah, this debate like, once and for all. But first, all this talk of animals has made me think about eating some with Blue Apron. I really want Batman to win. I'd what do you get? This side. Now. Uh, but I want Batman to win. I'm gonna Batman vote. To I'm gonna say he wins, but I'm almost positive Black Panther's gonna beat him. So Black Panther. No, Panther. me on Batman. I want. I'm gonna vote for him to win, and I want him to win, but I'm almost positive Black Panther. I'm still gonna go for Batman. But I, don't know. I like Batman more too, but for the for the sake of it, I'll go for Black <laughs> Panther. Uh, so you gonna go? I Batman? really want Batman to win. I Batman's my favorite character, and after seeing this, I was probably going to root for Black Panther just because. <laughs> but and then when I hear about Batman, I, oh my god, Batman! It's just epic. It's like. He's, yeah. a, but the he's whole, like the best of all worlds. In one. To me, there's the two things. Like I think, even though uh, T'Challa and or Black Panther has uh, a lot, he has like a lot of powers and he's insanely stronger than Batman, faster and stuff like that. I still think that Batman can can hold his own against him until it gets to the point about the suit, the suit yeah. and the claws. 
the suit and the claws are the thing that it kind of like scares you because and then the fact that it's a claw that can cut almost that can any cut metal, anything any and it's a vibranium suit that can like yeah. withstand anything so it's like those are the things that are mm-hmm. make me worry that Batman because other than that I think Batman would beat him like because the whole but, thing of, well, he mostly mastered all the martial arts <laughs> well that's the thing that I was just about to say. they said that he mastered 127 but in Black Panther they said that he he uh Master like 160. No, he studied all 160. Like, well, master. Captain, it's the same thing with Cap- Captain America. The, the difference they said for that was that Batman did the exact same thing uh, over 100, but he also mastered 127. Mm-hmm. Oh, so he's like, I guess. Judo. But honestly, so, uh, technique wise, he's probably better I'm going than. With Black Panther. So uh, te- technique wise, yeah. he's probably better than uh, Black Panther. But then there's, when you add the strength and speed, but. You know, it would probably equalize it, I guess, or something. And also the gadget, I mean, the gadgets will equalize it. But then when it comes to the suits, it's like... How about Black Panther's, like, god thing? Well, the oh, god power, it's, it's yeah. just getting power. Yeah, just like some super strength to his speed. Which, like, eye. a lot of his powers, is literally Batman has two, like, oh, but with technology, so that's the thing. Well, it's also the thing that they're, they're probably, like, they're probably going to calculate how strong it has to be for him to... Do the PSI thing, yeah, the like like it was like twelve thousand PSI or something when he had through the sphere, and like that strength is probably gonna add it into it. So I guess we can go to but, I'm so Black, I'm Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, Black Panther, Panther Batman. and Batman solely because I want. Honestly, Batman <laughs> yeah. can win either way. I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, let's we'll just good, get to see this. Which is the thing of like, I want. I always want to. Like, just have the, like, because that's the mute button, you probably just press that and have this running, and what, and you'll, and before it ends, you can just silently like, pause it. Okay. So are we gonna, are we gonna keep this? No, this is skipping. I'm gonna skip this one. Because, also, uh, I really, because this is something we didn't do before, I really need to before, pause it before it ends, oh and then do the thing again. Because last time I had so much trouble trying to figure out where it started again. Well, last time was because of the whole thing that you did, that everything's Tropical gotten, Splash! Like, messed up, you know? What? The whole thing of the discussion thing. No, that wasn't the problem. No, because of that, it messed everything else up. Um, it's because I, like, stopped thinking about what we should do and all that kind of stuff to make it more transitional properly. No, that's shorter than one. Okay, so three, two, one. <sighs> Come on, Batman! I want oh, to do it. here you go. Okay. What? What the? I don't think Batman is listening oh, to that. Oh. Welcome to the zoo. How are they fighting in a zoo? All right. The challenging king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. I put my trust in you, Batman. Please win. It's just Batman won. So many, like two of them already. So it's just like, oh, unless you, obviously if I'm counting Batman Beyond. But, so I feel like they're gonna make him. This Black Panther. Maybe this is a promotion for the Black Panther movie. Like, hey, he's better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's cool. Black Panther. Like, don't get us wrong. Black yeah. Panther's cool. Yeah, yeah he's a cool character. Yeah. Because, but you're just, more biased. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just biased. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty sure Batman took down one once, actually. Uh, making them fight long. Why not just get out? I'm all positive you guys can do that. Whoa! Tranquilizer. Oh, that one explodes. Witness the power of a king. 
Oh. Why is he killing two animals? I don't know if he's killing Why is it not killing Oh, really? Prepare yourself! I'm prepared for anything. Playtime is over! He's going in. <laughs> Amateur. Yeah, but he has reflexes. Yeah. Oh. 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 Uh, Whoa, that's, that's a, a that's a way. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we won though. Yeah. I knew he was gonna win. KO! Whoa, that's a new one. Black Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long yeah, story, I knew, I knew the weapon got armor Batman was stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. Well, we look at that armor. The comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. Yeah, yeah you, that's, a, that's it's just a claw. Exactly like I said, the claws and the vibranium. Yeah. The, the winner is yeah. Black Panther. I knew it. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching Let's the see premiere what's next, of season five. Yeah. Hey, yep. Watch the commentary on this episode. Click that box right over there. Start a first membership uh, trial. And if you want the we won though, Andre. Mm. This, I don't we, like this time it. we I know we don't like it, but we still have to high five. Is that Raven? Raven? I can't is that? It's gonna be it's, it's a oh, my little Twilight pony. Sparkle. Yeah, oh what? my god! Really? It's Raven against Twilight. Yo, my niece will love this. <laughs> She's like, well, make sure she watches gonna, the video. No, she's gonna be sad if she loses her head, you know, twice. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Obviously, I want Raven to win that one. Yep, Raven needs to win that one. Oh my god, that's. Uh, As Batman biased, we can. <laughs> yes. That's the thing, we all knew Black Panther was gonna win. I just voted for Batman. The glimmer of hope that he would win. And it's yeah. exactly like I said the claws and the vibranium armor are what put in a crawl like there's nothing I, I know Batman and I know he doesn't have anything that can stop him. Yeah, yeah, like, he really yeah. didn't yeah I was in my head I was trying to picture something to be like, some like a way the Batman thing can, that yeah. yeah he would be able to but it was just the, nothing, yeah. the suit was too like no weaknesses really except like overpowering it which Batman didn't doesn't have that kind of stuff. He doesn't have that technology or something. Yeah. That armor. The armor. It's the armor and those claw deadly claws, man. Yeah. <laughs> that mm -hmm. cuts through any. Which, but I'm, I am excited to probably go see the, the movie. The, no, not that. That, that I just I just want to see why this is happening. Well, obviously, it's because they're both voiced by Tara Strong. At, in that, I wonder if like, they got her to do it. That's maybe that's why. Oh, that'd be amazing. I don't know. Because Tara <laughs> Strong is someone that's very. Like accessible, yeah. She's, she likes the community around whatever she's done and things like that. Yeah, so it's very. But yeah, and also because they both need magic. But yeah, but uh, what I was saying, what I was excited about is to go and watch the Black Panther movie because it's being hyped up pretty yeah. much. Like, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> everything. I mean, I'm hyped for it. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. You should watch it too. Yeah, but with all that said, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to catch more of our videos in the future, and comment down below on any series or uh, videos you'd like for us to watch later on. 
No, that's it. See ya. See ya.